Hi friends, I'm Grishma and you're watching my channel G Tutorial. Today's class is for uh, CBT2 for Electronics and Allied Engineering Group for the RRB J exam. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel for getting more RRB J related videos. Today's portion is Digital Electronics and in that we will be taking class on Number System. So let us get to our class. Number of distinct digits in any number system depends on radius or base of the number system. That is, how many digits we are using in any number system is dependent on the quantity radius or base of the number system. Mainly we are studying about four number systems. Binary number system, octal number system, decimal number system and hexadecimal number system. The radix or base of these number systems are binary system has radix as 2. So the digits used here are 0 and 1. Only 2 digits are used. The number of digits is the radix. Next is octal number system. Here the radix or base is 8. So the numbers used here are 0 to 7. That is 8 numbers. Next is decimal number system. The base is 10. So, the numbers used are 0 to 9. Next is hexadecimal. Here the radix or base is 60. So, we are using numbers, 60 numbers, 0 to 50. But in this, 0 to 9 is represented by numbers. And again, uh, 10 is denoted by A, 11 by B, so on, and 15 by F. So, Hexadecimal number system is a combination of digits, numbers and alphabets A to F. Now we can see a question. Write the 7 number in base 5 system. In base 2 system we are using 2 digits. See, we should start from 0. So 0 and 1. In octal, 8 numbers. 8 is a base of radix. So 0 to 7. So here the base is 5. So the numbers are from 0 to 1 less than 5, that is 0 to 4. So 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4 are the numbers used in base 5 system. Here we are asked to find the 7th number. We know that in decimal number system, we are using 0 to 9 numbers. After 9, the next number is the second number will be the 10th digit and the other number will repeat. So, uh, after 9 it is 10, 11, 12 and so on. So in base 5 system, after 4 it will be 1, 0. Next number will be 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4. Then it will be 2, 0, 2, 1, 2, 2 and so on. So we are asked to find the 7 number. 7 number is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So the answer is 1. This is the correct answer. Next we can see the number representation. In any number system, numbers can be represented as follows. This is the most significant digit. Uh, it, for, it is followed by some numbers, then decimal pointer, then some numbers and the next one will be least significant digit. The leftmost digit that is having the highest weight is called most significant digit. That is called the most significant digit. And the rightmost digit which is having the least weightage is called least significant digit. We can see an example. 99.98 This can be represented as this is the decimal pointer. Here 9 is the most significant digit and 8 is the least significant digit. This is a decimal number. So its base is 10. Each of its position is representable. This is the 0 position. This is the first position. This is the second position and so on. So we can represent this as the number before decimal point is represented as 9 into 10 raised to this is the 0 position. Its base is 10. So 9 into 10 raised to 0 plus next number is again 9. So 9 into its position is first 0th position, first position. So 10 raised to 1. Plus the number after decimal point is represented by r raised to minus 1. So 9 into 
Base is 10 raised to minus 1 plus. Next number is 80 to 10 raised to minus 2. By performing this operation, we will get the decimal number 99.98. The numbers from any system can be converted to any other system. First conversion is this a conversion from decimal number system to other number systems. That is decimal to octal, binary and hexadecimal. So the conversion from decimal to any other number system occurs in two steps. Integer part conversion and decimal part conversion. If you are given a number 24.25. It's a decimal number. So its base is 10. Integer part conversion is. Uh, conversion of the number before this decimal point that is 24 to other number system this is called integer power conversion and the conversion of 2 5 to other number system is called decimal power conversion first let us see what is how integer power conversion is done it involves following steps in the first step we are doing the repeated division by the base of the new number system base of new number system until the quotient is 0. So if you have to divide, if you have to convert 24 to decimal uh, uh, binary number system, we have to do repeated division by 2. If to octal, repeated division by 8. And this process continues until the quotient is 0. In the next, next step is we have to retain the remainder in each step. This forms the uh, number in the new number system. And the remainder is retained in reverse order to get the number in the new number system. Uh, that is the first remainder will be the LSB, least significant bit. And the last number will be the last remainder will be the most significant bit. You will be more clear when we are doing the example. Let us uh, see how we will convert 24 to Binary, octal, and hexadecimal. First, let us see the integer part conversion. That is conversion of 24 to binary, octal, and hexadecimal. In order to convert 24 to binary system, we have to divide by its base. Binary is base is 2. So, division by 2. 2 12s are 24, remainder is 0. Next is 2 6 are 12, remainder is again 0. 2 3s are 6, again 0. 2 1s are 3, remainder is 0. Again, on division, the answer, the quotient will be 0. So we have to stop in this step. And we have seen that the first remainder becomes the least significant digit and the Last remainder is the most significant digit. So, we have to take it in the reverse direction to get the number in the binary system. So, the answer, so the converted number 24 in the binary system is 1, remainder is 1, sorry, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. This is the decimal number equivalent to 24. Next is octal system. We have to convert 24 to octal system. So that we have we have to divide it 24 by the base of octal system which is 8. 8 3 are 24. Remainder is 0. We cannot divide 3 by 8 again. The quotient will be 0. So we have to stop here. So 3 0 is the equivalent number of 24 in octal number system. Next is hexadecimal conversion. So 24 has to be divided by 16 which is the base of hex. 16 goes only once in 24. So 1 and remainder is 16 plus 8 is 24. So 18 is the equivalent number of 24 in hexadecimal number system. Now we can see the decimal part conversion. Next is decimal part conversion. It involves the following steps. Repeated multiplication. In integer part conversion, we have done repeated division. So here, repeated multiplication has to be done by the base of the new number system. Next is, this is repeated until the fractional part is 0. Uh, 
result in each step contains integer part and decimal part and the integer part forms a numeral of the new number system integers uh, can be taken in direct order that is first integer will be the most significant digit and the last integer will be the least significant you will understand we are uh, solving an example this is our question uh, we have seen how to convert uh, the integer part to binary octal and hex now we can see the decimal part conversion so the decimal part is 0.25 first we have to convert this into binary number system for that we are performing repeated multiplication by its base that is 2 so 0.25 into 2 it is 0.50 25 2 are 50 so it is 0.50 here you can, you can see this is repeat until the fractional part is 0 we are performing this this is the fractional part we are, uh, we are performing this until this step this part this fractional part becomes 0 and uh, result in each step contains integer part and decimal part integer part and decimal part we are performing until this decimal part is 0 uh, this uh, integer part forms the number of the new number system here the decimal part has not become 0 so we have to perform the multiplication again so again 0 0.50 into 2 which is equal to 15 to 100 so 1.00 here, the fractional part of the decimal part has become 0. So, we can stop the division. So, the end of the process. And uh, here, the answer will be the integer part. Integer part taken in same order. Here, we are not taking the reverse order. Here, we are taking the same order and this is the answer. So, the uh, conversion of 0.25 uh, in decimal number system to binary is 0, 1, 0, 1. This is the binary equivalent of that number. We are taking the, this is the most uh, this one will be the least significant digit. Okay. Now we can uh, check how to convert from uh, this number to octal. So that we have, we have to multiply by its base 8. So 0.25 into 8 is 2, 200. 25 into 8 is 200. So 2 2.0. Here the, uh, the fractional part has become 0. So we have to stop multiplication. So the answer is 0 0.2. Next one is 0.25 to hexa. For that we have to multiply by 16. It's base. 16 into 25. 0.25 into 16 is 400. 25 into 16 is 400. So 4.0. Here also uh, we, have, uh, we do not want to do repeated multiplication since the fractional part is, has become 0. So the answer is 0 0.4 in decimal number system. Okay. Now we can see the conversion from binary to other number systems. First is conversion of binary to decimal system. Uh, let us convert the number 11101 which is a binary number to decimal number system whose base is 10. For that first we have to uh, number the positions of each of this. This is the 0 position, this is the first position, this is the second position, this is the third position and this is the fourth position. So each of the number in the position has to be multiplied by 2 raised to its position. In this case, the number is 1 into 2 raised to 2 is the base or radix of the binary number system. So 1 into 2 raised to the position is 4. 2 raised to 4 plus next number is 1. 1 into 2 raised to 3 plus 1 into 2 raised to 2 plus 0 into 2 raised to 1 plus 1 into 2 raised to 0. 1 into 2 raised to 4 is 16. 16 into 1, 16. Plus 2 cube is 8. 8 into 1, 8. Plus 2 square is 4. 4 into 1, 4. Plus 2 raised to 1 is 2. 2 into 0 is 0. Plus 2 raised to 0 is 1. 1 into 1 is 1. So the sum is 
16 plus 4, 20, 20 plus 8, 28, plus 1, 29. 29 is the decimal equivalent of the number 11101. So we have studied how to convert a binary number to decimal number. Next is conversion from binary to hexadecimal. Sorry, binary to octet. Octal number system has base 8 and the, this uh, binary number system has base 2 and octal has base 8. 8 can be represented in terms of 2 as 8 is equal to 2 cube. We have to consider this factor. So to convert the number 11101 to octal number system, we have to form a pair of 3 from the LSB, least significant bit. From here, from the left, we have to take 3 bits, pair 3 bits, because 2 raised to 3 is 8. So, this is one pair. Here, 1, 1, we can put a 0. So, 1, 1, this is the another pair. Then, what is the equivalent of this binary number in decimal or octal system? 0, 1, 1 is, for that we have to study decimal and binary number system. Equivalent of decimal in binary number system. 0 is 0, 0, 0, 0. 1 is 0, 0, 0, 1. 2 is 0, 0, 1, 0. And so on, T15. We have to study this. This helps us to do uh, the binary to octal and binary to hexal, hexadecimal conversion. So, equivalent of 0, 0, 1 is 0, 0, 1, 1. This is 3. So, 3. 1, 0, 1 is 5. So, 5. 3, 5 is the octal equivalent of this number. Similarly, we can do the binary to hexadecimal conversion. Here, the base of binary number system is 2 and the base of hexadecimal number system is 4. Sorry, 16. 16 can be expressed as 2 raised to 4. So, this 4 is important. In order to convert a number 11101 to hexadecimal number system, we have to form a pair of 4 from left. So, in this case, 11011. One, 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 one. This forms one pair and this is the another pair. So, 0001 is, next we have to check the decimal or Hexadecimal equivalent of this number. So 0, 0, 0, 0001. 0, 0, 0, 0001 is 1. 1. And 1101. 1101 one, one is 13. Which is 13. But this is not the answer. 1. In hexadecimal, after 9, we are representing as 10 is A, 11 is B, 12 is C, 13 is D, E, and F. So the equivalent of 13 is D. So, 1D is the answer, correct answer in hexadecimal of this number. Next, we can see the conversion from octal to decimal and binary number system. First, we can see the conversion of octal to decimal number system. Here, uh, the base of the octal number system is 8. So, for converting it to decimal number system, we have to multiply each of these digits with 8 raised to the position of these digits. 7 is in the 0th position and 3 is in the 1st position. So, 30 equivalent of 37 in octal in decimal number system is 3 into 8 raised to. Position of 3 is 1. So, 8 raised to 1 plus next number, next digit. 7 into 8 raised to 7's position is 0th position. So, 8 raised to 0. This is equal to 8 raised to 1 is 8. 3 8 are 24. Plus 8 raised to 0 is 1. Anything raised to 0 is 1. So 7 into 1. 7 into 1 is 7. 24 plus 7 is 31. This is the answer in the decimal number system. Next is octal to binary conversion. So conversion of 37 to the base 8 into a binary number. For that we have to, we have studied that uh, the base of binary number system is 2 and the octal number system is 8. We can express 8 as 2 raised to 3. 
So, here you have to write three bits of each of these numbers in binary number system. So, three is 0, 1, 1. You just need to write only 3 bits. The uh, octal number system exists only from 0 to 7. So this much is just enough for writing any numbers from octal to binary. The by, uh, decimal of binary equivalent of 3 is 0, 1, 1. And binary equivalent of 7 is 1, 1, 1. This is the answer of 37 in octal to binary in number system. Next is octal to hexadecimal conversion. We know that the base of octal is, octal is 8. So we have to convert 37 to hexadecimal. We have seen how to convert it to binary. That is, uh, we have to write the 3 digit equivalent binary of each of these digits. So in order to convert octal to hex, we have to adopt the same procedure. First we have to convert octal to 3 digit binary equivalent. So the binary equivalent of 37 is 7 is 0 sorry 1 1 1 and 3 is 0 1 1. This is the binary number equivalent of 37 octal number. Next we have we have uh, we know that the uh, base of Hex is 16. So it is equal to 2 raised to 4. Next we have to convert this binary number into hexadecimal number. So for that we are taking 4 digits. And then writing the hex equivalent of this number. 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 is 15. Hexa, uh, in hexadecimal we are writing 15 as F. So the binary equivalent of 1 1 1 is F. Next is 0 1 that is 0 0 0 1 which is 1. So 1 f. 1 f is the hexadecimal equivalent of octal number 37. That is first we have to convert this octal number to binary number. Then convert the binary number to hexadecimal number. This is the step adopted to convert an octal number to hexadecimal number. Next is conversion from hexadecimal to other number systems. First let us see hexadecimal to decimal conversion. Here we need to, first we need to write the position of each of these numbers. The zero position, first position and second position. And in above cases, for conversion to decimal number system, we have to multiply each of these digits by uh, the base base to its position. So A is, what is say A is 10. So we have to take it as 10. 10 into its base is 60. So 60 square plus. Next digit is 3. 3 into 16 raised to position is 1. Plus F is 50. 15 into 16 raised to position is 0. So the answer is 16 square is 256. 256 into 10 is 2560 plus 16 raised to 1 is 16. 16 raised to 48 plus 16 raised to 0 is 1. 15 into 1 is 15. The sum is 8 plus 3, 8 plus 5, uh, 13, remainder 1, plus 1, 5, 5 plus 1, 6, 6 plus 6, 12, 6, 2. This is the equivalent decimal number of A3F. Next is hexadecimal to binary conversion. Hex to bi, hex to binary conversion. have seen that the base of uh, binary is 2 and hexadecimal is 60. So, you can express 16 as 2 raised to 4. This 4 is very important. In order to convert A3F in the hexadecimal to binary, we have to write the 4 digit 4 digit equivalent of binary number of F3 and A. To get the binary number equivalent to A3F, we have to write the binary equivalent of each of these numbers as 4 digits. So, A is 10. The binary equivalent of 10 is 1010. 1, 0. These 4 digits. 
one zero one zero. Next is three. The four digit equivalent is zero one one. Next is F. F is fifty. One 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 one. One 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 one. This is the binary equivalent of a. Sorry, this uh, binary equivalent of uh, the hexadecimal number a three F. Now I will give you some questions for practice, and we will be solving this in the next class. If you are having any doubts or suggestions, you can comment below. These are the questions. Hex equivalent of five sixty seven is in this uh, in octal number. Decimal equivalent of point four six to the base eight. Next is hex equivalent of one zero one one zero one 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 one. The fourth question is find the value of radix r if root of two twenty four to the base r is equal to thirteen to the base r as a baric expression. Thank you.